Hi guys and welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Kaylee and I do all things home decor, lifestyle, cleaning, pretty much anything of that genre you can find me doing here on my channel. So today I wanted to share with you a quick little Hobby Lobby and Target haul. They were finally open at Hobby Lobby so I was so so excited to go and see what they had and honestly I was expecting to buy like a ton of stuff just because they're open but honestly I wanted to just get things that I knew I could actually decorate with around my house and if you haven't seen my last video I moved my hutch from my dining room into my living room so I kind of wanted some new pieces to kind of spruce that up a little bit so we're just going to go ahead and jump on into the haul I hope you guys are giving this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and I hope you will subscribe that really means a lot to me and lets me know that you guys like these kind of videos first things I got at Hobby Lobby let me get all this paper off everything pretty cheap um all the spring shock was 50 percent off and all easter was 80 percent off and some of the easter things i went in there looking for like things that i could like not make easter they were all gone unfortunately but um i did pick up some wooden spoons because these were a dollar 99 and i always need good wooden spoons to either decorate with or just keep in my kitchen all my cute little canister because i cleaned it out in the last video as well and i was trying to keep more like aesthetically pleasing looking spatulas and stuff. I know that's probably stupid, but I like the way it looks better with wood. And this is a big spoon. Like it's really big. Um, this one I'll probably decorate with. And actually, I don't know. I bought all three of them to kind of like put in something and decorate. So yeah, $1.99 for each of them. I didn't think that was too, too bad. Okay. The next thing I got was totally just like the cutest little dish brush I've ever seen. I need a new dish scrubber and I always just buy like the scotch bright white ones, but this one's more like cutesy um and i just thought it would be cute on the sink and also we're about to buy a new sink and um what do you call it faucet so i'm gonna have like a white sink with a black faucet so stay tuned that's gonna be coming up pretty soon but i thought this would look really cute if i get like a little thing to put in the sink i don't know you can see i like this kind of style continuing on with that trend i got some wooden little measuring spoons these were just so cute they were originally ten dollars and then they were half off so it has just all your regular little spoons but these are really really good to have to decorate with i cannot tell you how many times I, I want to decorate with little things like this so i really like these and i think they'll look super cute wherever i like choose to put them in my house so this video i'm going to show you a little bit of some styling and also a diy so i hope you guys are excited it's going to be really fun but anyway these are really cute for five dollars you can't really beat it next things i got are totally random but they're wide mouth mason jars so they're taller than like a typical mason jar i like these to drink out of because my hand can fit comfortably around it like i have other mason jars that are a little bit bigger but um these are my favorite and i actually was going to order these on amazon and it was two for 25 which was ridiculous i went to hobby lobby and got these for like a dollar 99 or two dollars a piece and I got two. I already got my coffee in this one, but look how cute that is. I just love drinking out of mason jars. I think it adds more texture and character to just like basic drinking glasses. So I really like these and I got two. I already have my coffee in it. And so yeah, these are super cute. If you need um, mason jars, they're always half off if you buy them when the crafting stuff's on sale. The last thing at Hobby Lobby I got, um, I'm really excited to try out with you guys. I got this canister and it's got the kind of like, I don't know, beveled, little circles and then the cute little top so i bought this if you watched my last video as well i redid my little area um, with my KitchenAid and stuff and then my coffee bar is there and i was talking about how i don't want to have that silver carousel out anymore and i wanted to just put cape cups in a canister so i found this one it's not the i don't really like this part at the top but i love the look of everything else so i got it it was more expensive but i got it half off so it was originally 35 dollars 34.99 and i got a half off so i'm gonna see if i like it um i really am into hobnail right now and the one i the hobnail canister i wanted at walmart it's been sold out forever so anyway i like this one we'll see if it looks cute on the counter and now to the few things i got at target as i just said i'm addicted to like that hobnail style i love it i think it's so cute so i got these two bowls to decorate with they're hobnail, really textured, and I would honestly, I wish they sold this kind of pattern in a set because I would totally buy it and replace some of my old dishes. But for now, I got two bowls. They were $2.99 each, and I think these will look really cute either on the hutch or in the kitchen or something. Um, we'll decorate with them. So we'll play around with those, but I really like them. And for $2.99, I went ahead and picked those up. The last two things I got from Target that are home decor related are these little faux plants. This one is from Joanna Gaines's line, Hearth and Hand, and it's like little rosemary. Um, it was $4.99. 
but it's it's a good little size when you need like a filler for something so that's why i wanted this one and then i got this one i already have another one of these in my kitchen but i love these and i decorate with them all over my house and therefore none, this one was five dollars so and these are really cute you can put it in a little pot if you want i personally just like the white because i can just stick it up on my hutch or something but yeah, so these were $10 total, so I got two for 10. I don't think that's that bad, but I really love this one in the cute little pot. We're gonna go ahead and move on to a little bit of a DIY and then maybe style some of these pieces around my house. Okay, so the DIY I wanted to do was inspired by this piece of wood that was left over from another DIY I did when I made those um, rustic shelves in my bathroom. So I had this little piece and I didn't wanna waste it because it's perfect size. So what I thought I would do is make one of those cute like front door signs that has your house number on it. So I bought these numbers at Hobby Lobby. $1.99 and you get two in each. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. I don't want them to be galvanized. So I am going to, I think I'm gonna spray paint these. But I wanna like stay in this piece of wood and then maybe put like another coat of paint over it so it looks more like textured. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna try it out. I mean, I have nothing to lose. I only spent a uh, dollar ninety nine. Um, unfortunately, I gave my sander to my mom to borrow, so I don't have it. But this piece is not that that rough, so we're just gonna go ahead and see what we can do. So I'm putting the first layer of stain down on the wood, but I really didn't like how the stain looked. It didn't look the way I wanted it to, so I ended up painting it, which you guys will see. But I mixed two different kinds of stains because I was running low on one of them, and I also didn't have a paintbrush, so this was all kind of just trying to use things from around the house that I already had. But it ended up looking cute, but I definitely needed to paint it. So I spray painted the numbers black, just a satin black, and I'm really impressed with this spray paint. It took like one good coat to get them fully covered, and it didn't chip off at all when I nailed them into the board, so highly recommend that kind of spray paint. Now I want to show you guys what I'm doing with this canister and just put my little coffee pods in it. I had to order more on Amazon because we only had like four cups of coffee left and that just isn't going to cut it. So I really like it. I think it'll be much more convenient and a little bit cuter than that little silver carousel. I just wanted to include a few clips of me redecorating or moving stuff around on my hutch and let me know what you guys like in the comments because as you'll see throughout the next couple minutes I go back and forth so many times which I do this anyway when I'm decorating a new piece but I really want to get you guys' opinion what do you like the only corner I really don't like is the bottom right corner at the end I ended up moving things around so many times so let me know what you think and what I should do it's really hard to find stuff that will look cute and fill the space because the shelves aren't that tall in between I'm kind of limited on pieces that I can decorate with As you can tell, I love decorating with lemons, especially against this blue hutch. I feel like it just adds a nice pop of bright summer color that's really needed for my living room. Okay, so now that it's a little bit later and everything's dried, my husband was drilling me some pilot holes into my numbers because they didn't have holes. So that way I could just tack nail them in because I was gonna use glue, but 
it just didn't work. So we're going to tack nail it in and I'm going to touch up the paint on the board. I kind of messed it up earlier. So I'm just adding another little coat of this light gray paint that I already had. It's just a basic acrylic paint. And then once that's dry the next day, I'm going to nail in the numbers. Okay, so it's dry in the next day and I'm going to go ahead and place these where I want them and then just tack nail them in using those nice little pilot holes that my husband made me. That was a huge help and made this whole process a lot easier and now I know they're not going to fall off if it rains or the wind blows really hard. I love how it turned out. I'm definitely gonna hang it up on my house once my husband gets home, but I think it looks super cute. And for basically free, it's a cute little DIY. I like how my hutch turned out. There's still a few things I might change, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I really don't know about the right corner, so that's my main thing. But everything else, I really, really like how it turned out, and I just think it adds a nice staple piece to my living room. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of Hobby Lobby haul and a little bit of more decorating and a DIY. If you did enjoy it, I would love it if you guys would subscribe to my channel. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching and being here and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.